Okay, Martin, this video is for you. I have your quad finished up. So here it is. Um, this is the iFlight. I believe it's the iFlight XL7, I think. I knew what it was, but then I might have forgot. I think it's. I think that's what it is. I know it's a 7-inch, and I know it's made by iFlight. Obviously, it says iFlight on the top. Pretty sure it's the XL7. Pretty nice frame. Uh, iFlight... Uh, they make pretty good frames, actually. I mean, from the ones that I've seen, they're very nice. I like them. So, uh, let's see. You sent me this frame. It wasn't new, but it was all taken apart and everything. Um, you sent me the motors, the receiver, and the buzzer, I think. And then I purchased everything else. Oh, and you sent the GPS as well. So, and then I got everything else and put it all together. So what we have here is some Zing 2206 1700 kV motors. Going to be perfect for long range flying. Uh, I got the Pyrodrone uh, stack. You got the Pyrodrone F4 Race, which is a newer flight controller from Pyrodrone. Um, I'm not sure if it's like the the one next one up from the Pyrodrone F4 V2 or if it's all on its own a new one I'm not sure but I know it's fairly new and it's a very good flight controller I've been using it on a few different quads uh, along with the new um, Ford and one that they have it's a 45 amp and uh, I already did a review video on these two if anybody wants to check it out on my channel uh, nice little stack for a decent price I think it's around 80 bucks or so something like that uh, you got your Crossfire Nano, and it's right here on the top. I really like that this flight controller on the bottom side of it has a spot dedicated for this receiver. So you can see here, if you wanted to, you could use pins, but I would suggest using wires. So I ran just real short wires from the receiver to the board. So the FC is upside down, and I changed it in Betaflight and everything. So it's all good to go. And uh, if you need to access the bind button... Um, you might be able to get to it from the side here, probably be a hassle, but you can get to it through a hole in the top plate very easily with the battery off. So that'll probably be the best way to do it. Um, you have the Unify Pro back here. I did unlock it and set it to max power. You have the Falcor 2 Mini up front here. So I didn't see any uh, side plates. For the frame, I'm not sure if you forgot to send them or if you just didn't have them. So I I have a bunch of these little camera mounts laying around, these TPU ones. So I just threw some black ones on here. They seem to work pretty good, so should be fine for you. Unless you do have the uh, side plates at home, then you can install it that way as well. Because uh, this camera is a mini but it did come with uh, this bracket. You can throw this bracket on and that makes it a full size, so. Moving on, we have a Triumph Pro and I, I gave you this uh, extension, SMA extension here with a side mount or a 90 degree angled uh, MMCX connector right here. So those work really good for side mounting your VTX. And then I gave you this little 45 degree adapter so that the antenna comes out at a 45. So when you're flying forwards, it's going to be, you know, pointing straight up in the air pretty much. If you're flying like this. <laughs> All right. Uh, you got the GPS. I stuck it on the arm here. I did uh, set it up and turn it on and everything and checked it, tested it. It is working and good to go. I was actually surprised it... Um, when I looked in the GPS settings, after it only being plugged in for like, you know, 30 seconds or something, it had already acquired like a bunch of satellites. So, and that was indoors, so that's pretty cool. Um, the buzzer that you sent, I'm not sure. I think it's the ViFly one. It looks like it. Um, I mounted it to where you can access the button to turn it off from the bottom, which makes it really nice. When you're done flying, you can just flip it over and just push the button for two or three seconds and it turns it off. Uh, got your crossfire antenna mounted on the arm here. 
I removed all the heat shrink that you had on these race wires and I re-soldered all the joints and then I conformal coated them as well so they should be fairly waterproof um, the only reason I did that well one reason was because one of them didn't have any heat shrink and I didn't have any of that particular heat shrink so I figured I might as well just take it off of all of them because that's what the race wire is really meant for anyway is to be able to quickly and easily swap out a motor or whatever you know so now they're all open maybe you didn't want them open because you want it to be waterproof well I can formal coated it so that should should be good uh, I don't <laughs> it looks kind of funny with these props on here because these are five inch props on a seven inch quad but that's the biggest props that I had um, so it doesn't really matter because I'm just gonna show you a test hover anyway so and I also gave you these little LEDs these are made by Chinese LEDs they're called saddle lights and they're re really cool they go on the standoffs with your stack they are programmable so they run to the LED pad on the FC and it's a little bit loose not really loose it doesn't just flop around but you can push it with your finger and make it point backwards or sideways whatever you want they're insanely bright like I could not believe how bright they were they were hurting my eyes um, and I, I just have it programmed to where they're white when it's plugged in and then they turn blue when it's armed so you can set it to how, however you want this does turn as well but not easily so you know it's not gonna move by itself I think that's about it so let's uh, show you the video and then do a little hover get this thing shipped out to you Okay. There's your video. Looks really good. Nice and clear. It's perfect. All right, let's do a little hover. Here we go. <laughs> Flying incredibly smooth, just insanely smooth. This is going to be a great quad. You can see how bright those LEDs are. Crazy bright. So, after you unplug, you can just flip it over. One, two, three, and it's turned off. So there you go. There is your quad ready to go. I'm going to get it boxed up and shipped out today. And I'll send you over tracking. Alright, thank you.